When you're practicing healthy boundaries, you don't personalize that. You don't make their anger about you. It's not about you. Even if they're looking at you, even if they're talking to you, even if they're talking about you, right? If they're excessively angry and they have lost control of their emotions, they're not communicating to you in a respectful way, right? right? They've lost it. They're coming back with all this heat and this inappropriateness and this borderline abuse and sometimes yeah. not borderline. Yeah. First of all, that has nothing to do with us. It's uncomfortable. Yes, it is. Let's be blunt about that. Sometimes our heart is pounding. We start sweating a little more when we're around someone like that. Let's be honest. Yeah. But that's a somatic response. It's we kind of get kicked into fight or flight a little bit. When we understand that's what's happening, we allow our body to do what it needs to do. Some adrenaline has been dumped into our system. Our heart rate starts beating a little faster to kind of get that dispersed through our body because it doesn't know if we're going to have to fight or run. Right. Okay? When we understand that's what's going on, we just allow our body to do what it needs to do. We don't make a big deal about that. We accept it. We don't think we have to act some kind of way because our heart's pounding or we're getting a little sweaty. That's okay. If someone's angry with us, okay. And they're yelling at me, okay. And, well, they don't like me. I don't think they like me. They're mad at me. Right. Okay. And... I love where you're going. It's just, it's sort of pausing and sort of being in it yes. versus moving ahead to, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get the promotion or I'm going to get fired or I'm going to get a shitty performance review or going back to I mean, either consciously or unconsciously. I remember when somebody treated me like this when I was young. So let me toss something in here that I use with myself and with my clients that is really helpful in these situations for the very reason that you brought up, because we do have different parts of ourselves, yeah. right? We have that part of ourselves that's thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get that promotion. I'm not going to get the raise. What am I, how do I manage the situation? And there's another part of us that possibly is triggered from yeah. being treated or talked that way in the past, talked to that way, being treated inappropriately, being treated abusively in the past, maybe a part of us that hasn't been really healed all the way and it's being triggered. So there's something, it's based on internal family systems, which I love, but my personal version of this, how I explain it to people is I call it the boardroom. Okay. So if you imagine a boardroom and you are the CEO because at the front of the table, that's where the CEO sits, right? Yep. And then down the sides of the boardroom table, you have the different departments that are coming in that are giving a report about their department. Yep. Well, without going into all the details that I would do if I were in therapy or something like that, basically in a nutshell, we acknowledge that we have all of these different parts of ourself and they are in the boardroom. Right. So when this is going on, when we're standing there and we're explaining something to someone and they're reacting with all this anger and we can stand there in the moment, we can feel our body. I suggest to people take, just take a few seconds and that's all it needs. And especially the more you do this, the better you get at it. Imagine the boardroom, you're in the CEO chair or you should be. That's another topic. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> that's yeah. a whole other topic. <laughs> I can have stories about that, but let's assume you're in yep. the CEO chair where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So you take that moment and you look down your boardroom and you think, okay, who's being activated right now? Mm. And you see those parts of yourself and you go, how do I manage these parts of myself so that I can be in control so that I can stay calm so that I can still stay in charge of my own behavior because what people do is they get this inside out. Instead of being in charge and, and taking ownership over their own behavior and feelings and thoughts, they're instead trying to control the other person. Oh my and gosh. They're getting it inside out, you see. And so that's just pointless. That's going to get you nowhere. 